After extensive assessments and evaluations of programs, projects, and finances, along with in-person and online public input, the City of Vancouver now has a sustainable long-term solution to help provide the needed resources for taking care of our city's streets. The approved street funding strategy was developed with the assistance of a special commission on street funding, which met from April through September, culminating in a recommendation to City Council in October to raise street funding revenue, ramping up over the next six years to pay for increased maintenance and improvements to our city's street system. Additional streets revenues raised will include restoring right-of-way landscape maintenance and arterial street sweeping to pre-2009 recession levels. To help review and advise Council on policy options to address affordable housing issues in Vancouver, City Council convened an Affordable Housing Task Force in February of last year. By October, Council approved three ordinances surrounding protection of low-income renters and is currently considering the task force's final report, containing 14 additional recommendations. Several projects have been completed or are underway that will help increase the housing inventory in Vancouver. There are 3,300 new multifamily units currently in the permit review process or under construction in the review process. 282 units of affordable housing are now online with the completion of the 1st Street and 15 West Apartments. Affordable housing projects opening soon in Vancouver include the 13 West Apartments and Isabella Court for low-income seniors. February saw the opening of Lincoln Place, Vancouver's first Housing First complex, which will house 30 of the city's most vulnerable homeless people. Soon to follow is the VA housing project Freedom's Path, providing housing for 50 homeless and disabled veterans. Last year also saw the opening of a new day center for people who are homeless at Friends of the Carpenter in December. Funding was made possible through the city, Clark County, and the Vancouver Housing Authority. SHARE, along with other local nonprofits, are providing counseling and case management. The next phase of the day center will be construction of the shower and laundry facilities. The city continues to support the waterfront development and park. This project represents a transformative opportunity to the city as well as provides a once in a generation opportunity to reconnect downtown with the shores of the Columbia River. The waterfront has become one of the largest mixed use construction sites in the Pacific Northwest. After 10 years of work, the city's portion of the infrastructure is in and the site is ready for development. Street paving, street lights, curbing, as well as underground utilities, sewers, and electrical cabling were completed in 2015. And the Columbia Way connection between Esther and Grant Streets was opened. Columbia Waterfront LLC and Graymore Development Inc. announced the first tenant. The MJ Murdoch Charitable Trust will occupy the top two floors of the first constructed office building. The first restaurant tenant was also announced. Twigs Bistro and Martini Bar will occupy a ground floor space overlooking the planned Cable State Pier and opening up to a promenade and the waterfront park. The waterfront developer anticipates breaking ground on Festival Street road improvements in the second quarter of 2016 and the surrounding blocks shortly thereafter. And this month, preliminary construction work started in the waterfront park laying the groundwork for the anticipated summer 2016 start of park construction.